Hello everybody, my name is Common and welcome back to Gamers Going Blind and we're going over the boat rental shop. Seeing where this path leads us. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. Yep. Yep. No. What? Can't, isn't that isn't that isn't that considered breaking and entering? I guess, maybe. Oh, there's a there what are they called? A tatami mat? Uh oh. Hi, is that Keith with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Uh oh. <laughs> Meg! Yes. Finally made up your mind, have you? Uh oh. You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone. Is is he see is he senile? I think he might be. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what I do. Hello, hello. <laughs> that was a parrot. Uh, I'll leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Uh, based on the, I'd say it's the name of his pasta shop. Well, uh, I'm just as confused as everyone else here. And he fell asleep. I want to examine. Hello, Polly. Good morning. He ignored me. Poor Maya. Getting taken, getting arrested, getting hurt. Oh. Name. So the parrot's name is Polly. The parrot has been added to the court record. Old Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. Can I try it again? Maybe my... Polly, Polly, what's your name? Polly. Maya's found a new friend. That's... I don't know if that's, if that's good or bad. The pasta restaurant. Um, a pasta shop? Uh, yup, to think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. It makes you the two, two the third of the... Oh. The secrets of dough tossing. The west? Which way is the west? You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies. Oh yeah, they're in California. I'll even no okay let us know in the secret tell me old man oh it just says uncle <laughs> this is the palace of pasta the wet noodle well if it say yo dude what we want to ride in one of your boats oh I'm pretty confused myself well then, ah, uh, th that makes two of us. I'm confused and let's see. Do I have to show him some evidence? Or do I just tell everything important to old Polly here? One two two eight. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All it takes is a little clever thing. Uh oh. He has. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, I, does he have a gun back there? But no, I think it's a fishing rod. Okay, now listen here. That tricolor pot. What? Our rainbow loli? That's a color you. Well. Let's see. A lot of this. Maybe I gotta present this? Nope, nothing. Darn it. No, I guess not. Still nothing. 
I wonder. Nope. Darn it. Nothing's working on this guy. Oh, this one did. That's a lawyer's badge. Yes, it is. I don't believe it. This old guy is the first person to recognize my badge. Uh-oh. You're not Keith. Uh-oh. Sir? No? Uh-oh. <laughs> well, at least your name starts with an M, Maya. A lawyer. Uh-oh. Alright, I help, but on one condition. When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. We can't promise that. We can't. Uh-oh. He still thinks we're his kid. Uh-oh. Oh no, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Hey, if, if they if they re if they rejuvenate you as much as a phoenix should, you bring a tear to your old man's eye. Uh, wait, what? Can I can I know something? What do I need to show him? Uh, Robert Autopsy's report, and he fell asleep. Oh no, he's not he's not very cooperative. He knows something. I seen this, Keith. It's okay. You can call me dad. Dad, you know <laughs> The other night out on the lake. I know all about that. I seen it. Uh-oh. Tell us. Tell us what you saw. Okay. What did you see, old man? Probably night. Uh, yup. It was after midnight, but okay. So two bangs. So far, that matches up. A little while later, this boat comes back. A young man walked by the window. Walked by the window. Ah oh, no. Why, little Terry was just in here. It was used to make him cr ah, wearing this tattered old coat. Got himself some whiskers growing. Oh, gumshoe. Okay. Tells he comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. So well, I don't think we're gonna get much use for him. No, I don't believe so. Wait, I had one more question. Don't forget DLC. What? Whoa, 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 what? Don't forget DL6, huh? This is, this is getting kind of weird. Why? Why? I, I feel like, like that was just contri contrived. I have to freak, yeah. Maybe I should. Oof. Where. Where did all this come from? I. That was. That was a. Uh, quite the. Like the the sharp turn. What's the word? Not a cliffhanger. That's quite the the twist there. I forgot all about all about that. What's wrong with this? I actually wanted to. Let's ask. The boat caretaker. Yeah? The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness. Yep. Supposed to be top. Oh, a lot of heart. Get a lot, lot of heart kind of let us know, gumshoe. Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd, odd bird. Yeah? For who he is, we have absolute no records. No records at all. Uh, 
we need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edward's father died. I can't help but think that has something to do with this current case. I don't know much about DL6. He w oh, was he not around then? Okay, if you can convince me somehow the DL6 incident is related to this case, well, I guess I'd consider opening the file up. So, I think I have to show him the bird. I mean, I mean, show him the parrot. <laughs> I don't want to give him the bird. Parrot knew about that incident. Oh, that was quite the... Don't forget deals. How, 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 though? I mean, not that, like, why did that specific line of question have to come up? What if, what if that old man was connected to DL6? Oh, that's quite the jump. I get ya. Through there is the station's rec records room. Okay. Oh, boy. Th this is going on a little longer than I thought, but I, I think... I'm gonna stop it after we we finish looking in the records room. It's, am it's amazingly dusty. <laughs> ten years of files and ten years of dust. Fifteen years ago, both me and Edward were nine years old. We were fifteen years. They're nine, so they're twenty-four. Huh? That's DL six. I found out where the file is. Thank you, Maya. Okay, uh, what do we need? Suspect data. That would be the guy that my mom got, that got my mom arrested. The man arrested as suspect in DLC was Yanni Yogi. He was a clerk in the court, apparently. So it must have been the third person in the elevator. But he was found innocent thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Wait. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived so much he had brain damage. He lost all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. That sounds like the that sounds like the like the caretaker. Because the caretaker didn't seem to remember where he was, and there was no information on him. Edward's father. Gregory Edgeworth, age 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, he'd be 50. He had, he lo he had lost that day's core and got with his son Miles on the elevator with his father. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. Okay. It was found in the elevator. Shot two times. And the case summary. Well, first I have to get hang out hand like a summary. Okay. Here you go. December 28th, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. The case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district court. Looks like it. There's a lot more similarities than that that I was at. Large earthquake at 2 p.m. that day. Part of the building collapsed and the lights went out. And it all went dark. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. One of the three had been shot in the heart. Was oof. He had, he said that his father was shot before his very eyes. So it was one of So Edruth was one of the other ones and the last one was that Yanni Yogi. The whole thing had on Edward. Oof. It must have impacted very hard, especially the earthquake thing.
Oh man. For all we'll be able to find her. Now all that's left is the trial tomorrow. <laughs> I love the dead in quotation marks. Oh man. I'm really curious to see where this is gonna go. Alright, well, join me next time as we continue onward into the trial to save Edgeworth.